Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Nita Boo, and I have a recipe for you. And this is on the Jiffy um, box. It's on um, blueberry muffins, and it's simple and so quick and so easy. Anybody can do this, and you need simple ingredients. One package of Jiffy and blueberry muffins, one egg, and one fourth cup of milk. How easy is that? So you're going to get your bowl. And you're going to put your entire contents of the box in there. I only fix one box at a time for video purposes, but on a regular day I probably wouldn't put two boxes in there because I wanted to, it to last the whole week and um, I'm putting my one egg in. And my milk. And simple stir. And just stir it well. Make sure the egg has disappeared. And make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl. Get all of that incorporated So you need some muffin tins and some, or you don't have to have the muffin liners, but it's much easier. And I got these, both of these muffin liners from the muffin liners and the muffin pans from Dollar Tree. So that's still on a budget, but still on a budget, but okay. Um, even if you had to, um just um get one I just got two because I was fixing a dozen um one one box fixed about around 13 it just depends on how much you put into your um into your muffins you know it depends on how big you want them I think you want them with the first ones I was just like okay I don't want it to put too much in it and it spew it over into the you know over there on the side or spew it over in the stove um and then if you you know I wasn't thinking I could have put it on a, another pan like and put it in the oven <clears throat> just in case it was you know a spill over you know it spills over but it didn't do none of that so um, you're going to see in my second um, round of it that they are kind of like a little bigger. And they were tasty. Um, I was It's not the consistency of the cornbread. I was hesitant, hesitant trying and hesitant fixing them. Um, because I thought it was going to be the consistency of Jiffy Cornbread. But no, it's not. It looks like it is, but it's not the consistency of cornbread. It's just like a blueberry muffin. And in my second batch, in my second batter, I put a little bit of lemon flavor in it. And it enhanced it a little bit, so you can do that. Uh, if you have vanilla flavor, add that. It just enhances your flavor. So any little things like that can enhance your flavor.
I know some of you guys said, well, I can't bake. Yes, you can. That's why they have cake mix out here. That's why they have biscuit mix out here. That's why they have these mixes out here. So you can bake like a pro. And you'll be like, well, I want to do it from scratch, baby. Take your time. Practice on the stuff that they got, they got made for you. And then work your way up. Because it took me a long time to learn how to fix a cake from scratch. Um, it was horrible. It was a horrible experience. And it was just, my, my cakes were nasty <laughs> from scratch. So, it's a process. And you got to have patience. So you can see that I'm I'm gonna put a little bit more of the batter in there because I don't know. I just felt like, you know, I could and I wanted them a little bit bigger. So I know my patience is good because y'all um I don't like doing cupcakes, so and anything with a cupcake liner, so y'all know <clears throat> my patience has got a little better with this. So I'll y'all y'all continue to hope and pray that your cure have this, you know, patience so she can show y'all. I can do it, it's just the patience. Sometimes it's we can do things it's just our patience so have a little patience and sometimes we want stuff right then and there quick 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 sometimes good things don't come to you quick and that's in that's in cooking and that's in life so sometimes you got to take a little time and put a little time in to get a good results So yeah, but you guys do not be afraid to pick up the blueberry jiffy muffin mix. Look at this; they came out so much bigger. I think is this the first one? Yeah, this is the first one. They came out, you know, and rose pretty good. This is the first one that I had did. So, it wasn't bad. And you see how they rise with the, you know, be filling them up about halfway. <laughs> I'm tasting the sampling. Um... You preheat your um, oven when you're baking. That helps. Um, does some tips. And you bake this on 400 for 13 to 15 minutes. My oven was 13 minutes. So, and then you like, well, I'll be forgetting the time and this and the third. I don't know how to watch the time get you a timer so here's what they look like no they want the same size but it was okay for my kitchen y'all do what y'all do like share and subscribe thank you